Hey guys, Nikolai here with FPV Films. Last week I finally took the FA Part 107 Remote Pilot Exam and I passed it with a 92% after studying for about 6 hours. I wanted to make this video to share with you my study process along with some tips that could help you pass. The first thing I did when I started studying for the exam was I looked at Gary Glenn's free drone workshop video on YouTube. So that's about two hours long and it's very comprehensive just overview on the basics of what you need to know to pass the 107. It has everything from drone laws to sectional maps and how to read them. It also has some practice questions and answers. I took very good notes for that and I also spaced it out over multiple pages because I knew that I was going to add more material as I went along with my study. So that took about two hours. The next three hours I spent reading the official FA study guide, which you can find on their website, along with Kelsey Mason's study guide, which is kind of a more simplified version of the FA study guide, and it just shows you some bullet points on what you need to know. So that was super helpful after reading through the more dense official guide, just looking through that and knowing, okay, this is what I actually need to focus on. Finally, I spent an hour to just focus on sectional charts. My exam was a large portion just reading sectional charts and being able to analyze that information. I think that's really the only part of the exam that you really need to think for. I mean, the rest is just memorization. So I highly recommend placing an extra emphasis on the sectional charts. And I'll provide some links below on YouTube videos that'll help you do that. Don't forget that you have a legend available at your disposal, so if you do get confused on anything or forget any of the sectional chart information, make sure that you flip to that. It has a lot of information that you can use, but do not rely on it. So if you're expecting you can pass this exam by just, hey, I'll just figure it out during the exam by just looking at the legend, it's gonna be difficult because you're gonna take a lot of time just looking at the legend and trying to figure out what's going on. So I highly recommend just getting a really good understanding for sectional charts. That way you'll actually finish the exam much quicker than you normally would. The exam itself is 60 questions, two hours long, and you need to get a 70% to pass. It's all computerized, but you do get a booklet that has a lot of the figures in it and the legend. You also get a piece of scrap paper and a calculator, which I only ended up using once. The questions are pretty straightforward. They are multiple choice, so and you also have three answers. So most of the time, you can eliminate one of the two answers off the bat, which means that the odds are in your favor for the questions that you don't really know much about. If you haven't scheduled the exam yet, I'd recommend to just schedule it next week and just take this whole week to study for it because i mean i'm a big procrastinator and i know that if i didn't schedule that exam i probably wouldn't have started studying for it so that kind of adds to the pressure and motivates you to actually study but overall it really wasn't that bad um, there is a good bit of paperwork involved just to be able to take the exam so if you're trying to do this before a certain shoot or a certain deadline i would do it a few weeks in advance just because even though the exam you can study pretty quickly for just the paperwork and to get it finalized it takes a few days for that to show up in the system and then once you send it off it has to get approved and that's going to take a good while so i would recommend to just do it way ahead of time if you're doing this for a particular shoot now i do have a paragliding background and i'm a bit of an aviation nerd so that did help me so i didn't have to study as much as you normally would but even if you're completely new to aviation and you don't know airplane physics or weather knowledge it's probably just going to take you an extra two hours to study so you can still get the studying done in about eight hours time and pass the exam also after the exam you do get a readout so you get to know your exam score and you also get to know which questions you missed so that you can later on go onto the FAA website and figure out which areas you still need to study. So that was actually super helpful. Uh, these are the five questions that I missed for my exam. Overall, the exam really isn't too difficult. Just don't procrastinate on it. Put it into your calendar, get the studying done, place particular emphasis on the sectional charts and you'll be fine. Remember, you have 16 questions you can miss and still pass the exam. So you're gonna do all right.